So if you plan on using Google Scholar for any of your searching, the first thing you want to do is actually connect it to our Toro University California library site because if you don't do that, you're just some schmuck out on the internet that's using Google Scholar to search. You don't gain all of the privileges that the TUC library offers if you don't do that. So what you want to do to connect it to the library is go to your Google Scholar page which is just scholar.google.com as you can see from the address bar here and I'm on the main page to start off with and what I'm going to do is over here in the top left hand corner you'll see there's these three lines and if I click on them you'll see I get a menu and at the bottom of the menu are, is a settings option so I'm going to want to click on the settings option and one of the things that you will see that it allows me to do is it allows me to link it to a library and when I click on that it'll give me the option of selecting a particular library so if you happen to be associated with more than one university you can actually include multiple universities here. According to this, you can include up to five. In our case, we're going to put in Toro University, California, and we're going to do a quick search. And you can see it has right here this second one, Toro University, California, full text at TUC Library. So we want to pick that one. So I'm going to click on the check mark by it, and then I'm going to save. And by doing that now, what happens is the interface that Google Scholar uses will actually check against the library subscriptions that the Toro University of California Library has so that if the item isn't available in the public domain, which is what everyone else would be able to get, it'll check to see is it available through one of the subscriptions through one of the databases that TUC subscribes to and if it is what you'll see is there will be something over along the side that says full text at TUC for example let's just search something very generic so let's just search applied behavioral analysis which is very very generic um, so your searches will be much more specific than this but as you can see here over here on the right hand side it now says full text at TUC library and the reason it says that is because I've connected it to the TUC system so if there was something that wasn't available online and unfortunately these first three examples aren't good examples because they're also available to anybody through the NIH but if I were to scroll down let's see if we can find one here not on the first page but ah, here's a good one so here on the second page, this article here by Fox, Applied Behavioral Analysis Treatment of Autism, The State of the Art. It's an Elsevier journal from 2008. Um, looks like Child and Adolescent Psychiatric Clinics of North something. I'm not sure if that's a conference or if it's a um, the name of a journal. But as you can see over here, the only way that I could get this right now is because I'm associated with the TUC library so someone from the general public wouldn't be able to get a copy of this but by clicking on this button over here now it's actually going to take me to where it is in the database and one of the things that often happens is you'll see I got a little lock here and that essentially means that it tried to bring up a pop-up and it wouldn't let me bring it up so oftentimes what I find regardless of what browser you're using if you do this you'll need to click on click here to find other ways to get the full text because it won't allow me to essentially jump over into it um, because of the settings of my browser so while I'm here I can actually just click here and say get the article and it opens up a new tab it asks me to sign in with my Tora One credentials which I'll do here now and it's taking me into the page now so here's the full text no I don't want to give a survey for Elsevier and here is the full text of the article you can see I've got 
both an HTML version and if I saw correctly up top, yep, there is the PDF version right there. So that's how you would use Google Scholar to link to your TUC library so that by searching on Google Scholar, you're also searching for things that are included within the Toro University California Library Database.